the sun is alive. Hi, I'm Taryn and welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. This is going to be my first video of my sunscreen series on this channel. For my first video, I will be reviewing and demoing the Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Matte Sunscreen Gel for the Face and it is an SPF 45. And this is the packaging and I will tell you some more about this product. So Make It Matte protects your skin against damaging effects of UV light while staying fabulous. Our product is guaranteed free of oxybenzone, octanoxate, alcohols, fragrance, and parabens. And it's cruelty free vegan and has a little bunny on the side. Make It Matte is a revolutionary sunscreen for women of color who want to wear sunscreen on their face without the white residue. I have created this formula with us in mind to make us feel good and look good while protecting our skin from the sun. Stay moisturized and protect your skin. You can purchase this from their website, blackgirlsunscreen.com or from Target. And their tagline is Bye Bye Umbrella. And I also read more about it from the Target website. And one of the highlights is that it's great for wearing underneath makeup. So that is what I'm gonna be using it for. And it's also infused with natural ingredients such as shea butter and coconut oil. And it helps prevent sun damage such as premature aging, fine lines, hyperpigmentation, and dark spots. And those last two is what I'm here for. And also aging the skin, the sun is a lot. So I honestly have not watched any videos, read any blog posts, seen anything about this product. I just know when I want to do this series, I'm... It's broken. Okay, so as you can see, my package is really damaged but still i rise so anyways let's get into it directions apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure that's pretty standard and reply at least every two hours that's pretty standard so this is how it looks okay it feels like the super goop unseen sunscreen but a little bit more slippery maybe i need to shake it up and if you follow makeup for a woman of color on twitter she recommends doing the three finger or two finger rule i'm been applying your sunscreen and i have the super goop body sunscreen so i'll put that down my chest and everything else. I honestly like using matte sunscreens because I feel like it's really easy to tell if you missed a spot when applying, especially when your skin is oily because you can see like, oh, there's like when I did that on my nose, I could see like there was a little bit that I missed on my nose. So I feel like matte sunscreens are really good at making sure that you covered your whole face and whatever areas that you wish to protect from the sun. I did pumps onto my fingers and just spread it around my face. It doesn't give you super detailed instructions, but I figure that's pretty much a given. And if you've been following me, you see that I still have a lot of hyperpigmentation. I feel like with the sun being so much brighter now, like I was definitely having an easier time dealing with my hyperpigmentation during the winter, but I'm definitely gonna have to step it up. So super glad to be doing this series and to see what well, might be best for my skin because I just, I gotta get, I gotta get this faded. So now I'm gonna grab my makeup because it says that this is great for going underneath makeup and I'm gonna see and I'll also be reviewing and checking in throughout the day to show you how it looks. Applying foundation over this makeup is not bad at all. I do think I'm gonna switch from using a brush to using sponges again. I just feel like that would make it apply better. I don't have any separation. Maybe that will come later, but I didn't have any peeling or those little crumbs of product that comes up. Like sometimes when you apply like a product over another product, I didn't have any issues with that. It went on smoothly. And I also kind of wait a minute before applying like makeup or additional products after I put on sunscreen. So maybe that helps as well. I'm going to finish my makeup and then I will see you guys in a few hours when I go to do a check to see how this makeup is holding up. Aside from a powder that I'm going to apply over my face, I'm not going to use like, any additional matte sweat proofing products on my skin just to see solely how this product holds up throughout the day so I can give an honest review. I do have oily skin if you're unfamiliar with my channel, but I hope you stick around and subscribe so you can 
stick with me on this journey. Okay, so this is after I've applied my makeup on top of the sunscreen. I just wanted y'all to see it in case it wasn't that clear during my first recording. See, there's no peeling. It seems like a pretty smooth application and finish, but yeah, we'll see. So I've had this sunscreen on for about five hours and I've had makeup on. I went outside and I was in the sun. I was walking around. So I definitely worked up a bit of a sweat and I was sweating a little bit around my hairline. As you can see, my skin is shiny, but it's definitely not as oily as I would expect it to be around this time, especially after spending so much time outdoors and walking and just being in the humidity and everything else. If I had to rate this Black Girl Sunscreen Make It Matte Sunscreen Gel, I honestly would probably give it a 10 out of 10. Like, I didn't have any issues. It goes on smooth. It goes on sheer. It's lightweight. You don't really feel it. It has a nice, smooth feel to it, and it is matte. And I think it held up really well for me to not add any of my usual stuff for doing my makeup when I'm going to be outside or just going to be on a hot day, like adding a layer of powder before my foundation, that kind of thing. Honestly, I think the sunscreen held up really well given the elements and all the circumstances. So I will definitely be using it and I really do like it. I'm really glad that they came out with this sunscreen because while I haven't seen any like reviews about this one yet, I do remember people complaining about the other sunscreens being really oily and greasy and I actually use those and I can, I can kind of see that, but it doesn't really bother me at this point, but yeah, I think this is a really great sunscreen to go underneath your makeup, especially, or if you just have oily skin like I do. I didn't experience any separation from my foundation from using this. I think it's a great product overall, and I can tell that other people think it is too because it is almost always out of stock on Target, but I'm sure you can get it at blackgirlsunscreen.com. Be sure to support them as well. And if you're new to the website, a new subscriber, you get a discount. So definitely check them out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments and leave me any sunscreen recommendations that you may have. As always, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment so I can keep making more videos. Thank you again. Bye.